much. Hey guys. Okay, so welcome back. Um, okay, now today's topic isn't actually something that I kind of chose for you guys. It's just something that kind of came up. And I want to share it with you guys. It's something that went on today in my life. And okay, today I went for my first swimming lesson as an adult. So um, in the UK, when I was a child, um, we all had to do swimming lessons. And for some reason, I never learned how to swim. Now, I remember my mum used to always tell me that um, when we'd go to class, I would get in the pool, but she would always have to run around the pool and kind of dry my face. And I don't know why that was that, like why that was going on. Uh, I was obviously afraid of something. Um, anyway, but to cut a long story short, I never learned how to swim. And I'm a beach babe. I love the beach and I love the pool. And I'm a summer person in general. Uh, and not being able to swim was something that at many stages in my life, and I think probably every summer, it was something that I used to always think, man, I have to learn. Like this year, it's going to be the year. And then I would never actually take any steps in the direction to get me, um, like, to actually get my get me a teacher to actually get started. Um, so, like, it was always something that was there that wanted I wanted to get done, but I never did. And I had called this teacher like a month ago. Um, she had said, I'm really busy at the moment, so call me back in a month. I thought I've been waiting for 38 years. Another month isn't going to kill me. And I called her back. And I remember she wasn't answering the first day. And then I called her back again the second day. And she still wasn't answering. And I thought, shit, you know. Um, it's not a sign for me not to learn how to swim. And I, it's easier for me to not actually call back. Um, but I insisted because I really wanted to learn how to swim and I still do. So I called her and I booked an appointment and we had booked the appointment for today. And then something else had come up. Um, this last week, something was going on and really today was not a good day for me. I really shouldn't have gone. Uh, and I should have honestly canceled my first lesson and just booked it for next week um, because there was something that there was somewhere that I really should have been like all morning. And I chose to spend less time, uh, where I should have been this morning, which someone may actually say that maybe it was a bit irresponsible of me because it would make a difference in something that's going on. Sorry, but I can't be more specific. Um, anyway, but I still chose to actually go to that swimming class. Now, why? Because I was, I, I did actually feel that I was coming out of my comfort zone. Yesterday, when I was actually reconsidering going to the class and like calling and canceling, even though it was pretty last minute, uh, and I don't like to kind of cancel things last minute because I do think of the other person as well. I was actually thinking about it and it was actually a bit tempting. Um, and I was in two minds and then I chose not to think about it because I did not want to convince myself that cancelling it would be the right thing to do. Even though I knew that it was, I really didn't want to go there. So I honestly chose to not think about it because I didn't want to do the right thing and because I wanted to make sure that I was going to go to that swimming class today. So I'm on my way in the morning and obviously I'm feeling a bit nervous and obviously I don't know what to expect. I know the woman that's going to like teach me how to swim. Um, but I don't know what it's like doing a one-on-one -on -one swimming course. Um, I know nothing about where I'm going and like I'm on my way, I'm in the car and I, I feel a bit uncomfortable. Nervous, I wouldn't use the word nervous, but I was feeling a bit I don't know. I was feeling something anyway. So I get there, we get into the pool and boy, am I suddenly feeling like a child, a child, insecure and afraid. It was crazy. 
Um, and like today's lesson, all she was trying to teach me today was to put my mouth underwater and then eventually my nose blowing out and then eventually my eyes, like getting my face wet and kind of blowing out underwater. Guys, it felt like the hardest thing to do. The hardest thing to do for me. Um, and I was laughing about it, even though there were times when I thought, oh my God, I'm just going to drown. And oh my God, I can't breathe. And I felt like all this weight on my chest and like, I'm kind of like turning every emotion into like this drama queen thing. Really, it was really too much for me at some point. And I had to actually say, you know, can we just stop for a second? I need to breathe. And I realized, and I even said it to, to my teacher at some point, I said, you know, I coach people how to meditate. I coach people how to control their breathing, to detoxify, to relax themselves, to calm themselves, to go through panic attacks. And I cannot control my breathing. It's, I can't control it. It's like it's out of my control, completely, completely underwater. And as a good coach that she was, she kind of said, you know, you're out of your comfort zone and you're doing something that you don't usually do. You breathe out in the air and this is breathing out underwater. It's completely different. And I knew that she was right, but like, I felt like slapping myself around the face. How could I not get it right? Anyway, so I'm sticking it out and I'm thinking I'm going to get this and I'm going to get this. And really, I didn't get it as good as I wanted to. Something had been done, like there was a difference from the beginning, obviously, but um, I can't just stick my face underwater suddenly and like, you know, say that I'm all calm and relaxed about it. But um, I kept at it and I said, you know, I'm going to make this work. And throughout the day, as I was going throughout the day, like I was kind of thinking about it today and I was shocked at how afraid I was when I was there and um, how tight I was and tensed I was when I was in the water because I was actually doing something that, well, obviously there is some sort of fear connected to all this. Now, while all this was going on and I was actually thinking about it and reconsidering and I wouldn't say evaluating, like I wasn't actually thinking about it all today to evaluate it, but I was kind of still just, you know, letting it run through as though this is what's happened today and okay and wow, when you finally learn how to swim, I'm sure it'll feel much different. Um, and as that's going on, that's when it clicked that, you know what? Hey girl, you walked on fire in April. What was wrong with you today? Really, what was it missing today? And it clicked in April by Tony Robbins. I was taught how to get myself into state how to make my move and get myself into state, to change my mood, to take that big step, to like move into something and be so confident and so sure that I'm gonna come out on the other end a success. And today, because I was not in my comfort zone and because I was afraid, it completely left my mind. And it wasn't just for that second, it was like for the whole of the morning. It had left my mind. I hadn't even thought of it as a solution or a way of maybe dealing with it the next time. And that's when I realized that, shit, I never got myself into state. And it's so simple. How can you walk on fire and not be able to breathe underwater? And my kids do this and they've been doing it for so many years. It felt really, really ridiculous. And that's when I realized that everything we practice, everything we work on, we do things and we make them a practice so we can get better at them. And with eating and the way that we eat and the way that we make our choices and the way that we treat people and the way that we treat ourselves and the thoughts that we want to choose and the affirmations that we say to ourselves, all of these things that we do daily that we know have a positive uh, effect on us, we choose to kind of practice them daily. And I'm like into all of this. And this is like what I believe. And this is like what my daily life has become. Because it's not just about getting things done. I've chosen this path. I chose this path and I, I adore it and I love it. And I would offer it to anyone to help change their life radically. And they would not regret it. And... 
even though all of that, and even though all these choices and all these decisions have been made by me to live this kind of life and to, to take all these huge steps and spiritual steps and um, all these different things going on in all these different directions, still, I didn't follow through. And I missed it. And this is where I want you guys to kind of understand that it's okay to miss it. It's okay to not get it always right. It's okay. But we need to give ourselves the chance to kind of come back. You have to actually give yourself the opportunity to see things like see the big picture, see the big picture of what is going on and understand where it is that there is a weakness. Understand where it is that we need that more practice. Okay, because like the same way that that happened to me today with the swimming and not being in state, that means I do it in more things at more stages in my life. I'm not getting myself into state and I'm not making my move and I am not creating the results that I want. And that's not just for me, it's for all of us. So work with that this weekend. You don't need to be a meditator. Sit with yourself. Go, be with, go within. You don't need to evaluate your day. Think of your day. Think of where it is that you're stuck. Think of where it is that you go throughout your day and there's something that you don't like. There's something that makes you uncomfortable. There's something that you do that you wish you didn't do. Think about it. Stick with it. And once you stick with it, that's when the ideas start popping in and you start getting clear and accurate directions to move into. So work with it. Put your comments underneath. I would love to hear what you have to say, okay? And I am here for you to help guide you in the right direction. The point is for us to actually realize, and when we realize, that's when we can actually make a difference. So I love you guys, and I wish you a great weekend. Bye.